In Homa, a couple is living in their van this morning after a fire forced them from the tent they were living in following Hurricane Ida. It's unclear how the fire started, but things were made much worse when the gasoline and propane tanks around the home caught fire and started exploding. Photographer Chris Russell shares their story. Welcome to my home. What you see is what you get. Everything we own is right here. Nightmare number one was sitting on the bed when we heard a big loud boom. And he runs out in the house and he hollers, tells me to get out. Contrary had fell over the house and the bed was walking down the floor when that first happened. So we were living in a tent. We have been since the hurricane. Nightmare number two is going on now. I was sitting in the tent and I told Bobby, I said, the generator must be running out of gas. Then I heard some popping sound and I asked him, it sounded like popcorn. I said, what's making all that noise out there? And I looked out and everything was just in blaze. It happened so fast, and then they, I ran out of the tent. We got out in the middle of the road, and there's a big boom. The tent, there's not a tent, no trailer. Everything's burnt, it's gone. It's like looking at somebody else's nightmare. But it's mine. But then I see my buddy's sweet face back there in that fence, and I know that we'll come out of it. But I thank God we're alive. One of our neighbor, neighbors over here, she come by every day for the first week and was dropping off everything, clothing, food, bringing us ice, her coolers. She's heaven sent. <laughs> God tests us in many ways, and this is, this is just another test. I found my Bible yesterday, and it's not burnt. And I brought that from Tennessee with me. It's a miracle. It, it's just a little wet. Strangers just from nowhere are helping. The whole back of the van, they brought us clothing, food, dropped off money. We just say, God bless you, you're heaven sent, and which they are. Can't give up. Life's too precious. Chris, thank you. The family doesn't have internet, of course, so it hasn't been able to set up a GoFundMe or any other electronic means of fundraising. They say they have been grateful for the items people have dropped off. Their address, 7198 Park Avenue in Homa. The Red Cross has been in contact with a couple as well.